farmer and his barefoot children break apart soil in the highlands of Peru. They hope to grow potatoes, something their ancestors here in the Andes have done for centuries. But primitive tools and hard work may no longer be enough. I don't need to see another completely destroyed field. I've seen more than I need ever to see. Potatoes are in serious trouble. The food that helped fuel the Industrial Revolution, the crop that helped stave off hunger in developing nations, is under assault from the same scourge that caused the death of more than a million people during the Great Potato Famine in Ireland. That scourge, a deadly disease called late blight, is back with a vengeance in Latin America, in Europe, in Africa and Asia, and increasingly in Canada and the United States. Here in Peru, high in the Andes, is the place where edible potatoes were first planted. So it's part of their cultural heritage. It's part of their, their cuisine. They, they value potato highly from a historical and cultural perspective. They consider themselves potato growers, paperos. Are you paperos? Yes, that's what I am. They're, I'm a potato grower. In Peru, potato growers have come to adore Rebecca Nelson. Rebecca is a plant pathologist the brilliant leader of a team of international scientists struggling to convince peasant farmers that blight can be beaten. There's a lot of potato growers here that won't, aren't growing potatoes. Yes, we're potato growers. No, we won't touch potatoes. Yeah, I don't blame them. I mean, unless we can really give them something, you know, unless they can, they can convince themselves that they have a good solution that's not, you know, going to collapse on them. It's, it's a bad investment. It's a bad, it's a bad risk. Rebecca often travels through Peruvian towns and marketplaces. She talks with farmers about blight and often hears complaints about chemicals. This is yungay. It's a, it's a very high quality, very desirable potato and uh, people want to grow yungay. And if you want to grow yungay, under most conditions you have to spray a lot of fungicide. At the Spayanga market, pesticides are easy to find. Here, chemicals are sold by children. What are these things? This says DDT on the back. It may or may not be DDT. They often sell adulterated or, or just, you know, wrong stuff under the label. But I mean, I guess we'd be lucky if this was DDT. Should they be worried about their health if they're using these things? Oh yeah, we got, I mean, every problem you could name with the use of even, even fungicides, which are, which are not as famous killers as a lot of insecticides, but they're still, you know, they're bad for your health. They're saying, give us something to protect ourselves because we feel terrible after we spray fungicides. Now, I believe that, particularly in view of the fact that they are taking a bath in the fungicide. That's why they're asking me, please give me something to protect myself. I've got this cloud of fungicide that I'm breathing. I've got this, I'm walking through this, lush growth of foliage that's, that I'm drenching with fungicide, they're taking a bath. 